In this video, I'll be showing you how to host a website completely for free on Google Firebase. And so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a Google Firebase account. Once you have done so, uh, you should see this screen. And basically, go ahead and click on the Get Started section. Here, you should see that you have no projects, so go ahead and click Add Project. And here, I'll just do a tutorial example. And go ahead and just disable this option unless you want analytics and go ahead and click create projects and it'll just take about a minute or so uh, before the project is completely created and I'll resume the video once this is done. Now that the project is uh, successfully created go ahead and click continue and now you can see you know like the landing page of your project go ahead and click hosting here on the side and click on get started here toward the top and now go ahead and open up the terminal of your choice here I'll be using Visual Studio Code Go ahead and open your terminal client and run this command that you see here. Go ahead and just copy and paste it. And this will be installing the Firebase tools like package globally. And once you have done so, go ahead and go to the second step. And here, um, it's going to ask you to sign into Google. So go ahead and type in Firebase login and then it'll, it will uh, display the Google login prompt and go ahead and just click on your account and log in. And once you have done so, it should say successfully logged in in your terminal. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. And then finally, once you have all those steps done, go ahead and type in Firebase init. And here, just going to go through some basic, just like project setup questions. So go ahead and press yes to are you ready to proceed. Here, go ahead and scroll down to see hosting and hit the space bar and hit enter. And then here, go ahead and select the first option that says use an existing project. We're going to select the project that we just made. So here, I'll be selecting tutorial example, hit enter. And go ahead and hit enter again when it asks you what do you want to use as your public directory. By default, it's just going to, to use the folder called public. And here, when it says configure as a single page app, go ahead and click no for right now. And now, as you can see, um, if you've done everything correctly up to this point, you should see this very last um, command here where it says Firebase initialization complete. So that's how you know you've done all of these steps correctly. And now, for the very last command, you just go ahead and type in Firebase deploy. And once you type this in, it should begin the deployment process and it should only take a second for it to upload. Now it says deployment complete. And now if we go to the URL here by just pressing control click and hitting open, we can now see that the, uh, the website is now currently hosted on Firebase at this URL. 